Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Raja Talking Life. On my channel, usually I talk about strategies, tools, I give hints and I talk a lot about ways that we can overcome challenges and be successful and happy in life. Today is going to be a different kind of day where I'm going to talk to you about my own challenges. I'm not going to explain a lot of them, but I know that during COVID-19 pandemic, a lot of people have been going through a lot of challenges and difficulties. A lot of people have lost loved ones or they have lost jobs. They had financial insecurity and a lot of people were going through conflict and uh, relationships were tougher. Maybe they were uh, even exposed to more domestic violence. What I wanna tell you today and why I'm here today, rather than offering you strategies and tools to help you overcome those challenges that you come across life, I want to do another kind of offering. I wanna offer you hope. I've been doing that all along across all my social media across my uh, in my books in my blogs across uh, everything that you encounter when you see me however today i want to give you a bigger dose of hope that you will be able to overcome those challenges i have been through all of them most of them, not going to say all, because each one of us came to this life with a task, with a specific goal and spiritual growth for that, that we need to go and go through certain hardships in order for us to grow spiritually. However, I can tell you today, standing here in front of you, that I have been since childhood going through a lot of difficulties and challenges, including growing up in a very emotional, char emotionally charged environment. I, I have lived in a v emotional distress since I was a young child. I have also dealt with domestic violence. I have dealt with being in a state of depression and I got into severe depression that took me out of commission for a couple of years before I was able to function better slightly, even just to get out of bed, even just to remember things. And I talk about all of this uh, in my book, all the, the depression, the conflict, uh, the abuse, I've even had to deal with the loss of a child. I'm not talking about loss from death. I did that. I lost a pregnancy. However, I'm talking about even losing connection with a child that you have in your life because you were going through a lot in your life that you were disconnected from all the people that you love. During my depression, I had to disconnect from the most important things in my life, but that was not in my hands. It wasn't something that I did on purpose. It was something that the depression, that state of mind that I was going through, it made me not care about so many things that matters the most to me. And over time, I started to get back into myself. So there is a lot here that I'm telling you today that I have been through. As well, I chose to leave highly paid jobs and good incomes and bright futures just for me to find that inner peace, for me to live in harmony with myself to figure out what is my life purpose? Why am I here on earth? Is there a bigger purpose than me that I'm supposed to figure out? And that's why I think sometimes we get this strong nudge on our head to wake us up because all the little events and the difficulties, the hardships, the traumas that we go through it may not be what we need to wake up. 
and I'm talking about spiritual awakening. I'm talking about enlightenment. And for that, sometimes we have to, to, hit, to be hit hard on the head. So once I got through this, I had to deal with financial difficulties. I had to, to deal with uh, raising children on my own as a single parent. I had to deal with a lot. So I understand exactly where you are today. I have been through most of these challenges in the past, but here I am. I am in front of you today. I've never been happier than today. And the happiness comes from within. It's not from seeking external happiness, external enforcement, appreciation, or uh, getting my self-confidence or anything I need to do in life based on external circumstances and people outside myself. Being in alignment with my higher self and my soul is the only way that got me to be happy and find that inner peace where I am not disturbed. Yes, I have still difficulties. Actually, I have more difficulties than before, but I am always in tune. I am always in touch with my higher self, with my soul, with my thoughts, with my emotions. It's a lot of work, it's hard work, but that's what is getting me through life. And today I wanted to tell you that if I can do it, you can do it as well. You can stand up after every time you fall. The most important thing is to stand up again and try and figure out how you can find that balance in your life. And my offering for you today is that I will offer you a free session when uh, you book for the month of March. I will have to do a draw. And in order for you to win the free session, this is my first offering, uh, you need to give this video a thumbs up, like it, subscribe to the channel, and then comment down below and tell me what is it that helped you the most going through hardships. And I can tell you the most important thing that got me even out of bed, there were two things. My faith believing that there is a higher power than me, that's number one, and number two, it was my children. I had a reason to wake up every single day to, to have them in my life and for them to have a mother. So that's, that's my, uh, my tools, how I, I got through all of this. Now your turn, tell me, how did you get through challenges? And if you are still going through them, it's okay. You can get over that. You will pass all of this and you're gonna look back and say, oh my God, yeah, I was able to get through this. So three things you need to do to win the uh, session with me, the consultation session. You give this video a thumbs up, comment on the video and subscribe to the channel. You can win this session in any area that you want. If it's spiritual guidance, if it's parenting, if it's relationships, or if it's energy reading, any of those areas. And I'm gonna put the link to my website as well, uh, so you can book sessions. If you didn't win, uh, you were not the winner of the free session, I will be offering 50% discount when you book in March. So any session booked in March, which is my birthday month, I would like to offer you this opportunity. So that's one thing. The second thing I'm offering as well, discounts on my products and the products that I produce, they're all based on energy and they bring higher vibration and positive energy to your space and to your life. The category that they will be discounted in, it will be the empowerment, empowerment category. And you can choose the one that 
resonate with you and that will give you that nudge for you to wake up every day, meditate on it, visualize it, and get to where you want to. Of course, this is only gonna be for pickup, so it's not for my viewers overseas or outside of Ontario. So this is gonna be for pickup only. The third uh, uh, offering that I'm doing this month is that I'm offering discount, a huge discount on my books, so you can continue with your spiritual journey and your self-growth and self-development through reading the books because not only I talk about my journey with depression, with abuse, with everything I mentioned to you, but I offer tools. It's more of a coaching without me being with you. So you have a coaching tool and kit that you can use in order for you to identify which energy that you had to deal with and you were suffering with over time and how to get out of it using the approach of energy work. So those are the three offerings, the three ways to get into any of these, no, just the, the, the sessions, is for you to subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and then to comment down below on how you overcome your challenges, what advice or what recommendation that you can give to the community around us so we can help each other raise the vibration, raise our consciousness, and all of us increase the, the frequency by being happier and more successful on earth and on our spiritual journey. Thank you so much. I love you all. I will see you. I will, and later on, I will announce the winner towards the end of the month. So I'm going to give you the opportunity for the whole month of March, which is my birth month, for you to enjoy the offerings that I have for you. Thank you so much and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.